Boom. And uh, this is Moria TV here. I wanted to make a short tutorial on how to how to multibox fishing, like how to do five uh, or attempt to do five fishing at a time. So I have that set up, and I wanted I wanted to uh, wanted to show it to you guys. Um, so we're gonna get started. In case people join the stream, I just started, so it's probably obviously nobody can be there already. Um, so I'll go over the uh, the ice boxer config first, I guess. Um, so this is it. I have a fishing VFX uh, that I've bound to a key. Uh, Control Shift Alt V. I'll sh I'll show it to you later in a, in a bit what it does. Um, <clears throat> And it has it has two steps. One step is to just clear the clear all the previous VFX because I have other VFX uh, in place, which is also why I won't be able to show my usual five view because one of the VFX that gets cleared is is, uh, is the one that I use for streaming. But um, and then basically what we do is we uh, we just define a a video effect source basically in the middle of the screen uh, like a 320 by 284 uh, rectangle on each of the uh, five slave windows um, so those are video effect sources and then um, And then uh, we put a viewer, and the viewer we say that we want to pass through the, the mouse and the keyboard. So when I mouse over there, it will um, it will let me recast and reload uh, when I'm inside when I'm inside there. Um, so it's pretty simple, and the, the benefit of doing that versus doing it in game is that you can turn it on and off, and then you can. Can make sure that those rectangles are exactly perfect and and so on and once you've set it up for one team and if you don't use a dynamic box or to to not have to have more than one team but then you can just apply that that vfx to as many teams as you want and you don't have to reset it up for each for each one um okay so this is the uh ice boxer stuff um and then let's let's see what uh, what it looks like in game. Um, so this is my I have five hunters. Um, they are logged in, but they are not in the team. So if I left click on uh, on dynamic boxer, they are gonna be in the team in the exact order because I have that option set. I can show you which option it is. It's the delay invite accept. So this this makes it that instead of auto invite, where as soon as I start logging in, um, I get my team at uh, as soon as possible, I, I delay the accept of the invite a tiny bit in order to preserve the order, which has some benefits. Um, so we're going to click and we're going to see that they'll appear exactly in that order. So here we are, as you can see, slot 2, Doya, slot 3, Sia, slot 4, Oa, and slot 5 be a, I should probably have put them in actual alphabetical order because they have a name that's always A, B, C, D, E, but whatever. Um, so let me see what, what this looks like. Okay, so so this is my slot 1, right, the, the, the master. Um, and I, we, there's the, uh, those are low level, there is that quest for the alliance to like fish like four things. So I put them in a different part of uh, slightly different part. You can see there's one here, there's one here, uh, one here, and one here. If I if I have my uh, my jump key, I can make them jump so they are not AFK anymore. So here, here is the first one. If I go to the second one, she's here. The third one is here. Uh, fourth one is here, and fifth one is here. So if I go back to the first one, and you can see here, like on Dynamic Boxer, I, I make the window bigger. You can obviously, like, it doesn't have to be so big if you if you're not streaming and trying to show. And there's also a uh, a version of it that says uh, <laughs> I even forgot how to do it. Uh, how do I do uh, control? I think yes. Uh, no shift. 
yeah shift right click switch between compact and full view so this is like the the compact view and then if you put it like this you just have a small reminder that you're on slot number five but i prefer this view when i'm streaming so people see which clearly which character i'm on right now um okay so the as as i showed right the um the key i have right now to set up that uh fishing vfx it's because my healing vfx is control control alt v so my fishing vfx is control shift and v. uh so i can show you uh okay so that's the fishing one hey hi um so and if i don't put the uh, alt key uh oops no i think alt shift alt shift v yeah, because I clear the VFX, so it doesn't work. So anyway, so I'm going to put the fishing one. And so what happens with the fishing one is uh, I now have those four squares that are uh, in the middle. This is still this character, right? Um, and then the other ones, um, all four are uh, showing up there. Well, there's some people doing random things. So... Um, so uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna probably do i'm gonna put a bit of um of a, a lure on my fishing pole i just learned fishing on this team so they just they she they have like no no skill whatsoever so uh so they'll have a lot of misses and so on but like three we go on three we put the lure put it there we go on four we put the lure i could broadcast that i guess um and then we go on five and we put the lure and they all have the fishing pole uh equipped so we go back to one and then now if i um so i also put a key map there um if I do one, they're going to all cast at the same time uh, because it's broadcasted. So I'm going to do that. And then we can see in, in all the window and I can adjust the window by dragging that we got one there and the fish got away. And then now it's a bit of a guacamole game um, where, um, where I have to... I have to try to... <laughs> I have to try to watch what's going on and click fast enough. I haven't seen that one go down. And I also don't have the sound. I should put the sound louder. You guys have the sound. I don't. Um, so this one still hasn't done it. So one technique is you wait until the last one is done, which just happened. And then I can do one and recast everyone. Or I can go in each window and do I my my this key there, and uh, we're not very lucky with that. So see when I do I, it only recast in the window where uh, where I just uh, where I just casted. So now I just have to pay a lot of attention to to what's going on and hope that uh the whack-a-mole game is uh somewhat successful oh, one on the right i heard the sound but i don't know which one moved this one this one this one maybe it was that one and i did not see it you guys should tell me uh, left, right, but with the lag from the stream, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to work. Um, so this one failed. Okay, so we're going to do one to recast everywhere. And then let's watch. Which window is moving? Oh, I saw that one. I saw that one. And this one, when my fish got away, that one, the fish got away. So as you can see, it's not perfect, especially when you have no, um, when you really have no skill whatsoever on any of them. But the 
the good thing though is um so it moved somewhere and I missed where I think it's this one no no it wasn't this one um I should probably put the sound up so I can actually pick up what's going on uh, let me answer the question so someone asked uh, hello how are you my English is bad I have a doubt how you do collect loot with all the characters I have to do it one by one hardly speak English could you put it in the chat uh, yeah if you're gonna text translate what I'm what I'm gonna say sure let me put it on just YouTube because you're on YouTube uh, yeah so the way I loot is using interact with target so I use WT interact with target and so what happens with that is you 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 kill something and then you click it when it's dead and then you use the interact with target key and they all try to loot what i actually do I, most of the time is i set you can see it i do it automatically I, I set my loot to free for all and i actually loot everything from the main but when there is a drop rare drop in classic that drops for everyone um then i i do um, i do interact with target to pick it up from everyone you have to bind that key interact with target in order to do it. If you're playing BFA, you can you can learn engineering and get a looter rank, and then you you can just loot by having a key bind on on looter rank. Uh, but in classic, you have to loot the old way. Okay, so let me do more a bit more fishing because that's kind of the goal here. And I only have I put a lure, and I only it's a 10 minute lure, and this team is a is poor so i should use the lure um okay so one to cast everywhere we see our five bobbers uh and one just moved here we got something finally please tell me oh, yeah i wanted to change the sound so i can actually hear so it got away this one got away also great i have a big success rate on fish getting away despite the lure so i go in each window that doesn't have a bobber and i type i which is my the key that you can see here is for fishing I get the fish cut away all the time. Ah, I got one out of six on this one. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. So you see the idea, right? I have like five characters logged in and I have five VFX of kind of the middle of the screen for for each of them. And I just play whack a mole there. Um, Well, you're very nice, but it's it's not like so. On one hand, you should not feel bad because it's a fairly complex program, and I've been using it for ten years, and I'm I am not using it to the best uh, of what you can do with it. But I use it in a way that makes me I'm happy with what I'm like. I'm enjoying the time. I guess like there's a balance between <laughs> part of multi boxing is actually playing with the the tools the software the, the add-ons the multi-boxing software and so if you don't enjoy the tinkering you're not gonna probably not gonna enjoy the multi-boxing in general but um but everyone has their limit and like for me i I enjoy the tinkering up to the point where I want to play and not spend more time trying to figure out why is IS Boxer doing this or that. Um, necessarily. 
but here I'm pretty happy with the, the VFX setup. You you can see later, like you can rewind to the beginning of the video. I I explain how how it's set up. It's fairly easy. You just set up four video source and and four viewers for the other four windows. No, they clicked at the same time there. Um, so hopefully as our skill like see this guy is like fishing fishing is eight now i think it went there no. okay that was a bad idea um yeah i need to change the sound because you guys i set it up such as the stream as a good sound where my voice and the game sound are somewhat separated so you can hear me well and you can also hear the sound without having the sound of the game coming through my mic but that has the downside that i don't really hear the game sound so i'm gonna change that now um system so i'm gonna remove the vfx so it's a toggle right i can turn it on and off and then i'm gonna change the sound to uh, to go to my speakers so I can actually hear it so it might it might be less good for you guys a bit but I'm I don't have too much to say besides we have ooh, we have seven seconds so we have to redo the um, so I'll show again like how those guys are positioned right there's there's two on the left uh, on, on my right side and I put two others on the on the left side such as they don't end up having their bobbers just right in front of of each other um and then uh then we're gonna i guess we're gonna broadcast uh, so i turn on the, the broadcasting you can see it here with the green thing there should probably move that out of the way um so i'm gonna put c so every every window now has the has the character displayed and then i'm gonna put my second and last uh, bobber there uh lure sorry so i'm gonna i'm broadcasting so yes i'm clicking here so they all clicked there and then i everybody puts it puts it here and then you can see they are all they're all doing this okay so now we have 10 more minutes of fishing this time i'm gonna try to focus a bit on the on the task at hand um so i'm removing the um removing the broadcast putting back the key map so if i do one it one is broadcast uh, i mean is a combat key so it's sent the one key is sent by default to everyone uh, except, except i changed something um and then i should be able this time to listen to the sound and then use i what there's a bug right now is the sometimes modifiers get stuck in is boxer um and that sometimes is now so even though i press one yeah i was pressing one okay now it's fixed somehow so let's do that again see I blew espanol see si. yeah I don't speak Spanish I mean I've studied Spanish when I was in school but um, but that what I just said is is almost the extent of uh, my Spanish sadly I wish I, I would be better um, Je peux parler français if you si tu parles français si vous comprenez le français uh, I can do it in French. Um, I'm sure there should be there should be some Spanish multi boxers that are casting maybe I don't know actually there's not many French people so um, if anyone on the watching is French. Dites-le moi, je peux parler en français et répondre aux questions en français. Um, okay, so I forgot to do. So if I'm, as I said, right, like I'm passing through the keyboard. So if I, that key there, I is like the, 
that I use for interacting with things. Um, so if I go in each window and I press I, then it goes to each individual window while if I, uh, so I'm waiting for that last one to do a broadcast. Um, well, if I do this, which is I pressed one with my mouse button, then they all cast at the same time, and then I have to watch. Okay, one on the right, one on the left, one here, one here, and the last one. So we can recast when we wait for the last one to do something. Maybe, or did I miss this one? Yeah. I must have missed it because I did not see it. So there's two here, and then one here, and one here, and one here. And my fish keep getting away. I heard the sound, but I don't know which one it is. Was it this one? No. Do I have the buff? Let me check my other windows. Okay, so I do have a buff there. I do have a buff. I do have a buff. I do have a buff. Um, okay. So let's continue at least for six minutes. And if anyone has any question on uh, how to do this, so obviously it gets better, but I don't know if it's really practical. Like I. I I set it up once with my kind of main team and I and I don't know I don't know that I'm going to really uh do that. Yeah, I know it is complex. So supposedly when it, when Iceboxer 2 comes it's going to be easier, but it's not out yet. So um I mean, if you do just the very basic, like you go to the the setup wizard and you just broadcast those keys one to equal, uh, it is not too complicated. But like to get things like this, like the effects and so on, that's a bit more involved. But then you can make it do really powerful stuff like. I should move my my ice boxer thing a tiny bit there, my dynamic boxer there, because then I want to advertise that my this is an add-on I wrote that makes it easier to have multiple teams, and I have like four teams on on classic, and I can switch any character from any team at any time without having to do anything back to Windows. I just log out one character and log back in, and and I'm ready to go. Um, okay, so we still have five minutes. I don't know. Oh, we finished that one quest for this one. So let's see. Uh, I wonder. I wonder how many. Is it finished on everyone or not? We'll check. We'll check after this cast, I guess. Oh, this one only has two out of six. Wow. Okay, so that's gonna take a while. Um, What I do sometimes is I try to put them such as like see here I can see I can see one of them uh, so it's not that one it's that one and so I put it backward because I put this guy in this position instead of so I should move that character she is there right oh and I should move her to the left such as when I see something moving on the left, I, I can actually click on the left instead of click. Like now I see something on the right and I have to click on the left in my peripheral vision. Right. Okay, four more minutes. Okay, one here. Three out of six. Yay. Fish got away. Yay. Not good. at the same time one got fish fish got away 
And this one it probably means that the window the window is not showing enough. We should do like this. That way we'll we'll see more of the text. Okay, so let's redo this. Where is our bobber? Your fish got away. 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 Wow, this is not a good. I think that maybe the zone is too high. Like I should have been fishing in in Donosus first, or or in Teledrasil. The other thing is you have to actually go and click fast. Like especially at lower level, like you said, you have to go right away. See this one, five out of six. That's good. So I have those two kind of finished. Um, so I should switch probably the view, but I can't do that because it only works from the, my VFX is set up only to show. Um, The other one is three out of six, okay. We'll get it done. Two minutes, we have two minutes, then we have to go buy more buffs, more uh, lure. So the other reason I'm doing this on this team is because they are five hunters and the pets are, that I like are cats, and the cats eat fish. Uh, so this one is done, that's good. Oh, we're getting only black mouth. Those are good for, uh, uh, those are very valuable to level alchemy. So it's actually money here. So those fish are gonna let me. We can we can figure out how much loot we got uh, near the end, I guess. Why is my fish got away? Ah, we are out of we are out of the lure. I'm missing one one guy there. I think I saw that one move, but no. So when it's mine, it's easy because it makes the sound. That's the other thing. I, I If I put them slightly closer, then I can hear the sound of their bobber, or I could turn on the sound of each window. But, but actually, if, if I put them next to each other, it's better because then I can hear the sound in 3d i guess where i can i can hear that it's coming from the left or the right and if i position the character matching this layout which i think i put two this is slot two slot three slot four slot five i think i don't know i forgot we can check the vfx button Okay, so we have no lure, but then our fishing skill is a bit better. Well, a bit better, but we still have... Uh, okay, we have too much fish getting away, so we're going to have to buy to buy more lure. Um, so let's do that. So I'm going to remove the VFX for a second. Um, I think I can use... So I, I found one strong fishing pole, so I'm going to use it do i'm gonna get the quest reward too so okay so let me pick up my guys i'm pressing my follow key so they are following and uh, only this one that's pretty far is not following come on follow follow here yes good Good girl, that's very good. Okay, so who has actually completed the quests? Um, 
So slot 1 has completed the quest, slot 2 has completed the quest, slot 3 has not completed the quest because it's missing 2 of them. Slot 4, uh, only 3 out of 6, and slot 5, 3 out of 6, okay. So we're gonna buy more, uh, more, more lure. Actually, we're gonna return it where we can return it. Because then we get a better fishing pole. Um, 5.7 plus 5. Yeah. So I actually don't need this fishing pole because I have the I got the strong one, which is a rare like thing from the. So I'm gonna sell. I can use that, right? Requires fishing ten. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, I could give it to the ones that are behind. I guess. Yeah. For now, I could give it. So which one is not finished? Like this one, Sia, for instance. So we're gonna trade the strong fishing pole with her. And then we're going to switch fishing pole. And we're going to sell this fishing pole. On this one. So what did we get? What kind of loot we got? We got this. And I bought the recipe, but I... Uh, friends, no, that's not that one. So I, I have to... I have to go find the recipes to cook this fish. But the, the pet will eat the fish roll also so that's fine um okay so what was i doing i was putting the better pole okay and then this guy um, this guy is the same i'm gonna give it the better pole sell the less good pole oh yeah and then we need to buy some bubbles. So then when we gave her the strong fishing pole for now, so she can have she can have that, she can sell this one, and then that one has nothing except some fish. And that one has nothing except some fish. Okay, so we're gonna buy more shiny blah. Uh, we're gonna buy two of them. Yeah, two more, I guess. One, except I forgot to broadcast. So one, and two. And the other one, I have control key for broadcast, which is also the preview. So anyway, I got it right there. Um, this I need to change. So strong, blamp, blamp, strong. Regular fishing pole. Fishing pole. Okay, so we're gonna put the lure. No, we're gonna position ourselves this time. So let's see. Um, so, so I put her in the middle. That's fine. And then I have to find who is number two. So I'm gonna put my VFX, and then I'm gonna move number two. I think it's two on the right, but yeah. So no, so two should be on the left because it's this is two. Okay, so I did two here. So we're gonna put two right there, right next. Maybe a bit too close, but we'll see. And then we're gonna put. So I'm assuming this is gonna be three. So I'm gonna move three here. Go back to one. Yeah, this is three. Okay, and then. So two, three, four. Is this gonna be four? Uh, let's see. Put four here, and go back to one. Yes, this was four. So the last one is five. We're gonna put five like that. Okay. So now we have a better setup. 
if I do one they all cast but see like it's a bit disturbing because here like I see two bobbers and I'm guessing it's okay maybe I can do that to not be to not be disturbed yeah so see this is this is this and this is that okay so let's put the let's put the bobber um, there's one that's still like this so as you can see it's not really uh, <laughs> I guess if, if you're set up and you're gonna fish a ton of fish uh, and you have a high level of fishing already because you did it a lot and you're fishing valuable fish then maybe it's worth doing this <laughs> otherwise I'm not so sure that multiboxing or if you really like the whack-a-mole thing um, and it doesn't fishing is supposed to be relaxing so but like when you have to actually pay attention to everything it's not it's not exactly as relaxing um, okay so I'm gonna turn on broadcasting turn off the key map right click on this my cursors are changing you can't see it but um, telling you that it's like that and I'm see you can see them they're all doing their their little thing okay so we put back the key map we start with one to cast everywhere we see the bobbers no I'm missing one bobber where is the bobber okay that's not good there's a problem there which one did I say so it was two and three two three four five so five i could not see for some reason why couldn't i see five now i see five okay can i see four i can see four fine okay so then what was it then was it two two is this one see Okay, and three is that one right next to me here, and then myself is here. So I recast here because I missed it. You can get it and then recast. I missed that one somehow, even though it's right next to me. So four and fives are the ones that are that are behind. I think this one is actually not casting. Okay, Yeah, that was that one. So, so they are a bit too close now because I can see I get, I can I get confused between which one is which. And then there's the, and the crawler there is making his flop 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 sound. And then they all go at the same time this time for some reason. Maybe I'm being GM tested, having to catch all the fish at the same time. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna, uh, I'm probably gonna just level one of them unless someday i'm really bored but i wanted i wanted to show it to you guys that setup and then i also wanted to get a fair bit of fish for cooking and to feed the pets so do um, probably in the wrong zone like it's probably too high a level of a zone so that's probably why i get so many misses So I would estimate, it's a bit like leveling, I would estimate that uh, 
I'm five boxing the fishing, but I'm probably fishing uh, barely twice as maybe 2.5 times as much as, as uh, if I was solo fishing because of all the losses, I guess. But maybe I could get used to it and then it would be closer to like three times the speed. I don't think you can be five times as fast as, uh, I mean, unless you're like, I don't know, you have reflexes of steel or something or where's the ball bird. So here, like here, it's too close. I'm getting confused. Um, And I don't hear the sound too well. Even though they are close, I don't hear their sound. I should, I guess, turn on the window, the sound from the window. Maybe. Okay, we are 23 fishing skill. Getting better. Four out of six, that's good. Five out of six, yay. That one's probably, I probably missed it. No, I did not miss it, okay. Thirsty. Why is my fish getting away? I don't want my fish to go away. To get away. Mon poisson s'échappe. I also haven't seen any chat message. I don't know if people are still watching my fascinating um, multi boxing of fishing. I know it's uh, fantastic. <laughs> Yay, 5 out of 6, good. No, 6 out of 6, sorry. So I'm done. And that guy... So we'll wait until the end of the lure to see uh, what's left, I guess. I'm guessing that the quest fish is actually easier to get than the real fish like I'm, I'm in the wrong zone like that's the thing with classic fishing is you unlike in bfa where everything is easy so you can always do something and you get you get some grays and you can even sell them for a lot of money um only four out of six there Four minutes to do better than four out of six. I'm trying to watch all five areas at the same time. To only to get a fish got away. Five out of six, almost done. And we have two minutes. And then I, after that, I think, uh, unless you guys have questions, I'll switch back. Maybe I can show you the fact that I have the rake. I went to the, so th those are alliance characters, hunters. I went at level 10 to Mulgore, which is the Torren starting zone, I mean area. Not starting zone, it's near their city. It's kind of dangerous. And then there's a rare that spawns there, which is a good, it's a 1.2 attack speed cat, so it's good. Um, but it's a bit hard to get 
because it's a rare spawn it's not that rare like you don't have to wait too long but you have to wait like at least 10 minutes maybe more um between spawns maybe more yeah so it took me all morning but i got five of them i got attacked by some hordes at some point i had to bring my other team <laughs> but anyway i'm pretty pretty happy about so i'm gonna show you guys that I don't, know, I don't know which one is not done with the with the quest yet. I think this one is not done. No. Six out of six. Okay, that one is done. So are they all done? It's only five seconds. Let me we'll find out. We'll check again when the buff expires six oh this one is done too excellent so maybe we're actually done we had three done i think no two done i uh, don't remember so we had 31 fishing which is the level we started like now without the buff we have the same level as we had with the buff but we just lost the buff so we're gonna check for okay so we can see in this little window that they uh that they finished okay, i can change the view that way okay this one did not have the quest and that one yes so we have three that are that have completed the quest and and then us okay so let me remove the remove this uh i'm gonna call my pet because my pet is extremely cute and it's the same pet um, so that's my key he is dash uh -huh. and here here they are the rake so they look the same as the the savanna thing but they have the better attack speed and then i took a while and i trained i trained them well that reminds me i have to train that but he hasn't leveled yet i just ding 12 i learned this and we're still level 11 because we haven't done anything except uh, fishing um so let's finish this quest what can i get for you today let's finish this quest yeah, so I got more grouper, right? So I have 10 grouper. Is it gonna destroy tech all 10? Or is it gonna keep... I hope it's gonna keep the four that I'm not using. Let me just check that for a second. Okay, yes, I kept four. That's good. Okay. So I'm gonna swap back this pole give the better pole to uh, to my lead even though she already uh, is ahead i guess so maybe. and we can check our skill in fishing is uh, 24 yeah that's not really good but well this one has 32 much better so this one is already was already done this one is now all done i just have yeah i have to put the right the right one there and then we can switch back to not fishing and then we have to put back the right one I'm gonna sell the, the not as good pole there. 
Okay, three is done, two is done, except for the, this should be here, the better fishing pole, and we're going to switch back to use this. Only this one has an offense, so I put the... I mean, I could use an add-on, I guess, to do equipment switching, but I just there's plenty of space on the bar, so I'm just I'm just going to do that. Um, okay, so on this one, we got the new pole. We're going to put that pole as that one, and then we're going to sell the crappy default pole, and then we're going to check our skills. Twenty-eight, and last. Oops, and then I need to put back, put back this. And then last but not least, uh, we're gonna equip this. We're gonna put it here. And then we're gonna sell. C5 boxing uh, can be a bit uh, tedious. Uh, you have to do things five times, sometimes, by hand. In many things you can automate, but, uh, but in this case we did not. Okay, and I sold the old one, yes. Okay, so now we have a ton of fish we can feed. The, yeah, for instance, this guy is not happy, so we're gonna give him some fish, but I don't know which one I should give it. Maybe this one, yeah, I'm gonna give it this one. So that should make him happy, yeah, see, it made him happy right away. Uh, same for that one, we're gonna. Feeling this one, and that should make him happy also. Yes, uh, this one is still happy. This one is not happy. I want to keep the raw ones because I want to cook the raw ones uh, to level the cooking, so I can make better food for the, for the pets actually. Well, not just the pets, but anyway. Um, okay. So that was it, um, and this is my. This was the fishing demonstration um, with my my team of hunters, and maybe I don't know. Quickly, I can show you uh, that if I wanted to change on slot two, I want to change one one character. Uh, let's say, um, then I just log out. It would be better if I do that. If I do that in the inn, it would take less time. So let's go to the inn. So here we are. If I um, so I'm on guy number two. This is the list. Why do I have TSN in there? So this is the team. Um, I'm gonna log out and then log in my paladin, for instance. Um, and then I'm going to switch to the first window. You see here it's like not connected, so I'm going to go to two or and then go back to one, and we are going to see that it's going to change here uh, at this point. So it's see, it just changed. Um, and now I can just click and it will say whether I convert, I want to convert to a raid and, and invite, invite that character. And here I don't have any errors about character, wrong character in the window and so on. Unfortunately, she is in Storm and the other one are there. So I cannot show you that follow and everything, assist and everything works, but you have to take my word for it. I mean, that's the whole point of this add-on dynamic boxer is to let you log in any team, any character from any team at any point. Obviously from a, VFX point of view, like for instance, my healing VFX that's not there. Um, you don't want to replace a healer slot or a tank slot by something else if it doesn't match your your setup. But you can you can do whatever mix and match that you want. 
So anyway, that was the fishing. Why is it so dark on this one? I think it's the improved lighting thing. But... So uh, that was the fishing thing I wanted to show. I'll just finish on go going back a minute on the how it's set up, right? So it's the VFX you put, you create source and you can set the same dimension. You can do one and copy paste. So they are exactly the same. So they are, they are all from exactly the same center of the screen, right? 11, 20, 550. Um, and they all exactly the same size. And that's easy to do by copy pasting. Um, and then the placement, I just offset them. I calculate oh, 320. So I put it 320 to the left, 320 to the right. Um, and that's why it becomes 800 and then it becomes 1440 and they are the same Y and then 800, but lower below the other one and there, and that way it becomes like this where, um, as you can see, this is the guy that's in Stormwind, um, where I get my, my VFX and I click through and I can fish and everything. So I hope you found uh, this video useful and that you you can follow on, on, on YouTube. You can like it, you can whatever. Uh, follow me on Twitch as well if you want to catch me live. And uh, thank you. And I hope you enjoy this. Bye.